Hi everyone and welcome to this the first raid of the GSX 600F. Finally we've got it done, everything sorted, should be running real sweet. Shouldn't be any problems because it's been gone through with a fine tooth comb so let's not waste any more time and let's get it out on the road. Okay, don't expect any problems. But just keep an eye on the chain tension. Yeah, a bit different from the pit bike. problems in the first run but don't expect any. A real nice day for it, worked out well. Hopefully a lot more of them to come this year but last year was very good. Just take it easy to get these tires scrubbed in. No rush. Get plenty of fuel. Brakes need to be better done too. Yeah, pulling okay at the lower revs. Yeah, brakes feel good. Not even better than yet. Next route of the exhaust, the Delkovic 350 mil carbon exhaust. Hopefully you guys are getting out in this good weather too. If your bikes are finished, if you don't any, want their projects like myself. I'm still, as I say, I'm still looking at a few things. The clear indicators coming today. There is the carbon fiber type tank protector coming. A few more bits and pieces, but more just to get out of run, just to make sure everything's fine. Just a bit of a test run. Just reminds me how low geared these bikes are. Just sitting at three and a half thousand miles or three and a half thousand revs at 45 miles per hour in sixth gear. So is there a sports tour? They're not that. A GSXR or an R1. Good fire down low. Here somewhere and pull in if a little nosy at the chain. Stay out of the dirt. Have to try and keep it clean now, it is actually clean. Yeah, definitely needs a good polish. Looking good so far. Seems okay. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go. Still a little bit concerned the mixture may not be 100% with the new exhaust, but we'll know after I get the new tires scrubbed in, we have to give it a little bit more beans. Real lovely day for it. You see, you got the uh, gear indicator inside the dash there, made use of that spot, just the blank Suzuki badge before. A few little pieces to be touched up for moving things. I need to get my phone mount on here, the heated grips are on. Actually, just try those now. No need for it today, but try them anyway. They were working fine. But 
what Viking's all about, about freedom. Get out and see the world. It's not, a car will never compare to a bike. You'll, obviously the ability to take the wife and kids out just isn't the same, but trying to get Danielle, my wife, to talk into getting the bike license. It's not going good so far, but you never know. Yeah, hit a grip coming on there now. Turn that back off. Yeah, nice note. Nice note. Stuck behind a tractor in the first run out. I think it feels good so far. So. Let's take a little run here and check back in with you in a moment. I want to really thank all of my subscribers and all my viewers too for getting a chat, little chat along the way discussing things and hopefully helped you out with certain questions but I'm not any genius but hopefully helped a bit guess we're all here for to help each other out definitely I noticed with bikers I mentioned one of my pit bike videos that bikers really stick together like it's unbelievable don't think this is just a track bike but you never know someday you might get it to the track it's nice to get it even just open her up a little bit and not take any chances like I did with my Sierra Cosworth Oh, it touched 150 mile an hour a few times, but uh, never any scares, thankfully. Yeah, she's going well so far, thank goodness. So you never know what little hiccups come up. Hopefully don't get any oil leaks or anything, I detest oil leaks. But we shouldn't. Okay guys, we're back at base, everything's going well, no troubles, thank goodness. Chain's a little slacker. It's not too bad, need to maybe address that, no signs of any leaks or anything, definitely not leaking cold, that's one good thing with these bikes. Just let you hear this exhaust. <laughs> Yeah, happy with that. Okay, okay, so in this test run, there's everything's running pretty well, not much more to talk about, but I think the one last thing to do, just give it a little hard acceleration, see if everything's okay, bike's obviously warm at this stage. So let's give it a little run, see what happens. In this private bit of road, of course. Look too much more than that on the uh, fresh tires, but yeah, everything seems to be going well. Slight bit of heavy hesitation there in the first gear, but may need to go a little bit richer. But this all gets sorted in time to come. So, guys, thanks very much for tuning into this one. Hope you enjoyed the test ride video. But I'm out of here to get some more miles on the clock, and I'll see you in the next one.